Hi, so this is a continuation of part one video. So let's get started. So as we have seen in the part first video, we have configured our all those Java variables. And now my Java code is now able to access the Azure AD application that we have created. So my Java app will now communicate with Azure AD to get the access token and that access token would be used in SharePoint APIs in order to retrieve the result. So basically what I mean is if I open my REST client and because it's a SharePoint API and I am doing a GET request and I am wanting that this API should return me JSON result. But upon clicking on send, I am not able to get the result. Instead, I am getting access denied. So my Java app is now configured to all these properties. After configuring all these properties, make sure you save this file. And now because it's an authentication class, it does not have static method main. So I have another class which has main method in it. Now because it's a class, I have created one authentication object and inside the authentication object, I have one function with name OAuth authentication. So if I look under the authentication, I have one function with name OAuth authentication. So this function is responsible to communicate with Azure AD and get the access token. It is doing all the stuff behind the scene. And after getting the access token, you can see I'm calling SharePoint API with that access token. So let me run this script now. If I click on Java application, now you see the access token. I have got the access token and here is my data which is coming from SharePoint. Now because I am using MDS joinee poc.sharepoint.com and if I open this site, you can see my title is communication site. And if I look under Java, I can see my title is communication site. However, if I change my URL, here the title is all company. So if I change the URL and again run this particular Java app, I will save this file. Now you will see that the title changed to all company. So this access token is used in order to access the SharePoint APIs. So now if I go back to my Postman client, again, if I am clicking on send, I'm getting access denied. But if suppose I add the header of authorization of bearer and the access token that it has generated with the help of Java app. So now if I click on send, you see, now I am able to retrieve the result because this access token, my Azure AD can successfully identify that it is a valid access token. And now I can go under the SharePoint site to retrieve the result. So this is not only just retrieving the result. You can also retrieve the result from a SharePoint list. So here, in this particular site, I have a list with name email info and I have one item here. So if I change my rest endpoint, these are endpoints that are exposed by SharePoint by default when you install it. Get by title and my list name is email info and I want to retrieve all the items inside this list. Now because I have a valid access token, once I click on send, 
you can see at the bottom I am able to get the title AAQ and here if I see it is AAQ so I am successfully able to get the item now coming back to the Java app how we are able to retrieve the access token is by using a third party jar file which is msal 4j which is provided by microsoft so this is the main library which is able to retrieve the access token by passing certain properties that we have passed at top msal js is a third party library which is provided by microsoft and if suppose you want to include it inside your java app you need to first download all the dependencies of that msal 4j you can visit this url and here you can download all the msal 4j jar dependencies now after downloading this jar dependencies you can right click on your eclipse java project click on properties click on java build path inside the libraries you add all your external jar files which are related to msal 4j that you have downloaded through the help of url so this is all about java app so in brief a java app is authenticated is authenticating with SharePoint APIs and in order to get that access token we are using msal 4j which is provided by Microsoft to get the access token easily without dealing low level security endpoints call so that's it for this tutorial thank you and have a great day